let's get started with today's agenda that is how to work on the config parser using python and what is config what is the use of config parser so first of all config is a document where we can store the data that can happen to change frequently and uh, we do not want that frequent changes to be done in the code itself so what we do is we create another config file from where we can take the data and then we can use it into our code and uh, this will help us not to change anything on our code but to the config file itself so first let's see uh, the structure of the config file and how we are loading it into our code so this is a structure of a config file. There are three sections. There is first, this is one. This is known as a section. This is one of the keywords that we are referring to. Then there, this is a key and these are the values. Here also, like there are two sections. One section is of keyword section. The another section is the DB details. Any of the login details that will happen to be changed in near future. You can uh, eventually put it into the config file. And um, if let's say in near future, this uh, data source changed instead of two, it's changed to three. So we are we will be going to change it here only and then use it in our code. So jumping to the code. So first of all, we have to import the config parser from the config parser itself and then we will be starting with our function and in this function what we are doing is we are creating an empty dictionary and then creating an object of the config parser and trying to read the config file that we have the the syntax of the config file is dot INI. This is the extension that is used for the config files. And after uh, config dot read, this is, this is a function in order to read the config files. Then eventually we can create variables from it. Like if we want the DB details, this section to be inserted into our code, we want this as a dictionary and use it further for making a connection to the DB, let's say. So what we will be going to do is the config that we have created an object. We are referring to that in that uh, particular object. Go to the DB details. That is the section and in this section go to that particular key that we want. That is the data source. So in so what I will do uh, this whole of the config dot INI would be re read into an object known as the config here and then uh, it will try to read the section that is the DB detail section and then eventually in that section it will try to read the key that is having the name of the data source. So after reading it uh, the, the value of that particular key would be stored into this dictionary and then uh, eventually I'm also trying to read another data for, for the DB like uh, the initial catalog user ID and password. So this is how I am trying to read and then printing out that dictionary. So let me uh, run this code. So as you can see that these four dictionary key are there with their respective values that can be seen in the terminal or in the run section. Now, one issue that uh, can be there is if in the config file, let's say anywhere in the data, there is a percentage sign, then what will happen? This is one of the issues that might get uh, generated. Let's see that first. So in our password section, I have added this percentage sign. Let's see what happens now. Let me try to run this code. And now it will throw an error of uh, interpolation syntax error. So it is not a syntax. It says that percentage must be followed by a percentage. Um, like there, if there is, if I'm using a percentage, use another percentage and then try to read it. So let let us try now. So now it is reading it in a perfect manner. We had one. Uh, one percentage sign now 
what if I do not want this double percentage? I do not want my password to be looking like something like this because eventually it is single percentage, not a double percentage sign. So what I can do is instead of uh, updating it here in the code itself, when we are creating the object of the config using the config parser, what we can do is we can use one of the words keywords that is interpolation is equal to none. We do not want that thing to happen. And now we do have one percentage sign here and now let's try to run this code again. And it will eventually work perfectly fine. So now it is working without giving any error of the syntax that uh, percentage must be used before or after another percentage sign. So this is how config parser works um, for the other thing like here. I am referring uh, the keywords now here. There is not a single uh, value. There are multiple values, so we can also play with this using a for loop or uh, splitting this base on the basis of slash n or on the basis of commas like that. How we can play with the config file. So that's all for today. Any questions you can write in the comment box and do like my channel. Do subscribe to my channel because that will eventually help you as well as well as me. So thank you so much for connecting with me. Thank you.